said was that um, back in um, in the war the air the guys flying the airplanes the single the fighters yeah like way back yeah they would use duct tape to hold Pete their wings together what to get so far and it was only good up to 100 miles an hour what? I swear to God that's what he told me yes. my dad's not really bullshit I've right? <laughs> never heard bullshit either. yeah but do you think it's bullshit it might I be. want to believe it I think that it is true. I want to believe it. Because the planes that, that you think he was talking about were from like like the kamikaze planes and the back in that. Where they just didn't care. No, they were just like thin frames wrapped with sheet, uh, real thin sheet metal. Mm -hmm. And they just take the sheet metal when they get rips in it. <laughs> just duct tape them together. Yeah, but the planes didn't do more than a buck twenty, 120 miles an hour than the old fighter planes. I think. Really? I don't well, think. They can stay up, that's. Yeah, cool. and they went pretty good, I guess. But they were really light, and so that's the only reason that the duct tape makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. Like, that's what I. I mean, <laughs> you don't hear your voice, so you trying to make sure. You well, hear because what happens is I can always catch myself going away from the microphone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm not like I. Anyway, we'll, we'll make it with it. We're going to get this headset thing figured out soon. Sooner or later. So, no, so, I feel like you're going to drive yourself crazy with this headset thing. You sound good in my headset. Yeah, I hear you. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but do I, do I, okay. Is it the same volume level of yours? Here, let me, no. No, not mine's good. a little bit louder. Yeah, so I yeah. guess that's just the break up. It's just how it is. We're not talking to the mic. Can't hear you. See, I would have known that. It's not the headphones either. You know what it could be? What? That the output for that is only has enough power to do one set of headphones. No. no. Okay. I don't think so. Because you made it work at one point. I just, you got to hit that like that. Why? Because this only is going to get good on here. No, it's all comes here. I think those are off. Is it off? Yeah. I guess it is off. I love, uh, but you know a lot more about audio than you let on. Yeah. I have elite levels of common sense. You do, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, right. I actually have no notes. I have nothing I have nothing to look at in this notebook. You can pretend you are. That was kind of what I was going <laughs> So I was wondering what was on your page over there. Nothing. Nothing. Well, you have the notes. There's no way this mic setup is going to work for you. It will, I'll get it. How's that? That's that. No, because your body wants to face the other way. How about like this? Oh, oh. Oh, 
How's that? You can tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can sit like that. My chair doesn't have a freaking thing on it. It's wore out. We need chairs in here. Um, What's it say? This is just the frequency stuff. Mm. Can you hear me? Yeah. You have to tell me when I'm not talking to you on my phone. Okay. Um, I can ask you so many questions I've got in this thing. You want to? Can you, can you reach out another box? Can I look at that? There was something that was... The questions? Yeah. Yeah. There was something that I found that we never did also last week. Not, I would read that. You, you go ahead first. Okay. okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of like okay questions. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the okay. Oh, this is this is pretty good. Considering the amount of stuff in here, I feel like this might be a good question for you. What object would you save if your house was on fire? It's a good question. Oh, I know right away. Really? Absolutely. My hard drive, my my disk, my hard drives, and my um, all my freaking terabytes of shit. Do you know where they are? Could you get them? Yes. You need to They're break? actually in a safe. Oh, they are? Yeah, but, but it's kind of, a, it's still a fire rate safe, but it's those key ones, the small ones. Yeah. So um, your place would be burning down and you'd be in there with your 900 keys trying to find the one to the safe. No, it's not fastened. I could just pick the safe up. Oh, you just like... <laughs> yes, this You're going to look like you robbed somebody. It's a box. <laughs> yeah, not the flames shooting at that. Yeah. Right, because still. Um, no, I, I uh, yeah, that's a good question. How about you? What would you grab out of your place? My, I'm trying to visualize my place right now. It would probably be, probably my camera equipment. My camera equipment, honestly. Either so it my, does mean a lot to you. Yeah, either my computer or my camera gear. For sure, it means a lot to me. Yeah, that's everything else is replaceable. That stuff's just expensive. Yeah, but plus it, it's, um, yeah, I could ask you, when did you first fall in love with uh, this process of these cameras and what they do? And it how, was, how long have you been so serious in this? In college, I, I got into it. Um, my friends liked it, and whenever we'd hang out, they'd want to go use their cameras. Do and then, projects with them? Well, no, they just wanted to use their cameras. And after a while, I was like, okay, well, I want to get a camera. Like, I felt left out. So I got one and then we got really, really into it. We were obsessed. We wanted to be famous photographers. So we were just... What kind of pictures were you taking? Like cityscape. We would, we would explore Seattle and go searching for different viewpoints of the city that like no one had photographed yet. Or we'd see a photo and try to find where the photo was taken from and, and, and make our own. And that's what we spent so much so much of our time. What would you do with all the pictures you guys took? Do you still have them? Yeah, I have them. I used to have an Instagram account that I posted them to, but right. once I realized I wasn't going to be a famous photographer, I kind of stopped. Yeah, you got to give up on that fame. Yeah, yeah, I mean the fame. Yeah, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. That's what you tell me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not all it's cracked up to be. But no, the photography stuff, and then ever since then, it's just been like a growing hobby of mine. I, I dated a girl in college and it was a long distance relationship. So I would, we would choose into photography and videos too. So we'd make videos for each other. Like we would do like vlogs, we'd make like video journals for each other just so they, they would know what we did during our day and like when we thought about each other and all that romantic crap. Did you guys make dirty ones like sexual stuff? No, no. So I had to ask. I had no, to ask. She was a good Christian girl. It was not in the cards for us. They're the wild ones sometimes from my experience. She's definitely on her wild side. They have the good Christian girl front and then they tear your ass off. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, she was she she had her wild side, but it was uh no, none of that happened in, in our videos. So that's what you got turned on about movies though. That's when I started really getting into editing and wanting to mm -hmm. So you yeah. learned editing because that relationship in a sense. Really, yeah. Hmm. Because I would make videos with my friends, we'd go on like our photography adventures, but those are like the most like the most frequent videos I would I would make. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. When did it start for you? Um, the storytelling part started I think is um, early early. I used to make my brother jump 
rocks and do action shots yeah. when we were little, yeah. except I would use my mom's Polaroid oh, and nice. I'd take one picture at a time and I'd staple them together and really? just fan it and flip it. I know it sounds weird, but really? yeah, and I'd see him jumping over the, I'd make him, because it wouldn't, you know, Polaroids are like, yeah. right, so that's one shot. <clears throat> but I would do it, make him jump, 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 jump. So and try I, and capture I'd get him stages. in the air. Yeah, we were yeah, very young then. That's cool. Um, but um, yeah, uh, and then um, I wanted to be an actor. Mm -hmm. So I was around some cameras and stuff with that, and I liked it. And I was in theater. I did theater. Oh, you're one of the theater kids. I did a little bit. I I I, I had a male ego, pretty hardcore. Yeah. So it, so it was hard. Was it hard to really buy into the theater? Ah, thing? yeah. Well, I got I got out of acting and modeling because uh, the local my picture of me in paper, or whatever. I did a little TV stuff, and they would call me Queer Boy Troy <laughs> and Pretty Boy Troy. Yeah, yeah, like that. Not for a twelve year old. No, that's hard. That's hard. That's really hard. We can so, laugh about it now. Well, I would fight about it and stuff. Oh and, yeah. Yeah. And it was, uh, it would, it would, I didn't think, like, oh yeah, I laugh about it, but what, what, that, if I would just tell myself, never, don't ever listen to those kids. Yeah. Because they're idiots. I mean, when that's like, the only thing that's going on around you is Pretty Boy Troy, it's, it's, it's hard not to listen. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to, I, 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 You know what I mean? That, how would that, you know, it's not, no, no young guy wants to be said that. Even if you are queer, you don't want to be called that. No. Right? I mean, I don't know these days. As a 12 year old, though, I don't think. Yeah, I, I couldn't even. They know. meant it in the worst way. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. me when I was 12, I, I don't even know if I knew what was going on. I mean, you, I think I was, it was past the puberty about, right? Don't pass puberty about. That's 12. when you're getting into, that's when like, puberty starting to get too hard. Right, right. So you're still, but the chemicals are changing in us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, that so was, you're confused yeah. and. You don't know what's going on. No, no. It's a tough time. Yeah. I was, I had really bad acne when I had puberty. Did you? Really bad acne. Yeah. Like, my face was so oily. Like, back then, like, all the cameras, like, there was just when, like, the digital point and shoot cameras were coming out, mm -hmm. and the flash would always go off. And my face was so oily that my chin and my forehead would just bounce the flash right back at the camera. Really? So bad. It was so oh embarrassing. Gosh. So before photos, I'd always try and, like, get my sleep and wipe up wipe off my face before and like hopefully no one noticed. Did it, how did you notice that? Just in the, in the picture one? Yeah, because you know, we, we talked about this, yeah. how much you judge photos of yes, yourself, yes, videos of yourself. Yes, yes. Yeah, the second I saw I was like, oh no. I was like, God, I look terrible. No, I... <laughs> Can we check? You, you want to? Do you want me to? I'll I'll sure. I'll 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 how crazy is that? The red light didn't work at all. Yeah, for those who don't know, like, no, Troy put a red light in the window next to the door to, to inform take people. A shot, yeah. To inform people not to not to ring the doorbell. Okay. But the sign he put to explain it cuts off the words. You can't really tell what it's trying to say. Did somebody just ding dong did you? Oh hey! Oh yeah, did you see that? Okay, I just said, who the fuck didn't see that red sign? That's all right. <laughs> all right, we're recording. Thanks, brother. Who was it? It was Brandon. Oh, uh, the neighbor? Yeah, but he, he, he had already walked away. He saw the sign after. Oh, he, he did he see saw the sign? It. Yeah, he wow, saw it. Wow, the sign yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, not really. It will it's still bring better sign. Once you get the sign to fit on the piece of paper that you printed on, then maybe it might work. Until then, yeah. yeah. Until then, it might be a little hard for people to decode the letters that get cut off. And it is an odd-looking way. I just jammed it in the window. Yeah, it's not next to the red light either. It looks so. like a real recording studio light when it's yeah. out. Yeah, it the light looks good. Yeah, yeah, it's the a, light looks really good. Yeah, I just trying to get the message next to it. Don't ring this doorbell. <laughs> But it's what makes this place great. Too. I know it does. I know it does. Yeah. Yeah. The interruption is probably funny on the on the. You know, we had, didn't we? Did we record um, a doorbell last time? No. Yes. We no, I don't think we're recording yet. I have it all on like B roll stuff. No, do you? Yeah. Let me look. Who is it? Mel. Yeah, I got it all done. 
This is a nice. This is a nice journal. Yeah, that's so. Um, that did you? Yeah, I don't. I didn't use it. My daughter got it for that. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, cool. yeah. I take pride in my Indian heritage. Oh yeah, all of one thirty second of it. I know. Maybe one sixty fourth. One sixty fourth. Sure. I don't have any. Like I don't. I don't. I you know for whatever it's worth I'm uh, I'm a little embarrassed of some of the ancestral lines that I think we I mean I'm a rape baby we talked about that before <laughs> we and we need to stop talking about that <laughs> I, I think, think I think we established that the first time it came up I know I know there you go losing the mic again <sighs> I can't tell the difference when I'm on this doesn't sound any different to me a little bit but not much. I think your ears are shot. That's possible. That's very possible. I'll bring some different headphones next time. I got some. I have some other ones. No, but I, got, I have some that have noise canceling. So then you'll only be able to hear your voice. So hopefully that'll work. Is right. that, is that, are you picking up that music at all? Is that all right? I can hear it. Maybe turn it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe that'll help me a little bit. Oops. Yeah, that'll help. Um, check, check. Mic check. Check, check. Mic check. Troy check. Check, check. Troy check. Mic check. I thought it was my right ear and both shot. <laughs> <laughs> I like your eyes. Check, check. I know, right? What is getting old like? I know this is a sore subject. I should have brought It's not that sore. It's a little sore. A little bit. It's it's the biggest thing. I think I'm single. Mm -hmm. That is a weird part of it. Mm. I think. Um, the dating world's bizarre. Um, Later in life. Is that what it'd be later in life? The things that I experience are strange. Like one of the big things I think about is, like when you're, like I'm 51 now, um, I'm not over the hill, right? No. Not by far. What is over the hill? For a man, it's different. Okay. Because men can age well to the point where like, because even there's that weird thing where like young girls who like old men, I'm like trying to find man. them. If anyone out there is one of those, <laughs> call in now. Call in the right. night's still Saturday night's still early. I'm, I'll have to look. I'll, I'll I'll survey my my age group. See if there's any girls from home oh, from an older man. Take care of them. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny That's because so I'll say something that I wouldn't admit probably normally, mm -hmm. but. The view, my view as 51 year old is not of my age. It's mm -hmm. not, I'm not 51 in my, in my, um, in my, like in my mental, I don't know how, I don't know. Is it like you don't experience, when you were a kid thinking of 50, 50 year olds and how they experience life, do you feel more like the kid still as opposed to what you thought? Oh, absolutely, you feel? absolutely, one hundred percent. I can see. I think. Absolutely. I think. I think that's pretty apparent in just anyone who knows you. Yeah, but what is it? Is it like that for other fifty-one-year-old men? Is the question because you know a lot of fifty-one-year-old men or at least fifty-year-old men. Yeah. What do they act like? Old. But I feel like that's part. Of, I think that's. But is choice. that culturally? I think is that choice. cultural? It could be. Because I think it's all, like, you always talk about how much everything is in your head. Yeah. So I think a lot of aging is a choice. I know, like, I was telling you, my dad's 60. He might be 61. But how's, how's he look? Good. Yeah. He exercises all the time, looks young, and his energy is off the charts. All the time, his energy is All the time. So it's, if you, if you met him, you would have no idea. And he doesn't even buy into the whole being 60 thing. He doesn't. No, it's like an arbitrary number to him. It's just, yeah. Okay, but but was he like that at fifty too? Yes. Yeah, but he, from what you tell me, your dad had a good has a good mindset. And yeah, but so I do think you. so. Uh, you do. I I I think that. Well, lately I hear. Well, listen, Paul told me I'm old about seven hundred and fifty times a week <laughs> for a month or two till finally I shut him down. Yeah. I think I told you this. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, and when I go in the store and someone says, hey, old head, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, yeah. why does that bother me? <laughs> why does that bother me? I looked at the one guy, I was like, what are you talking about old head? You know? <laughs> and, you, and you really meant it. He probably I did mean it. 
Two players like, oh, yeah, yeah, good one, Grandpa. You don't care. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grandpa, you're cool. You know? And, and for you, you're walking around the store like, you really think so? The, my biggest thing is um, is um, a couple of the, the, the ladies that I would date, mm -hmm. not real racist, but race, fairly racist, they're a lot younger than me, mm -hmm. and there's complications with that. Yeah, I can see that. Complications. But, but it's okay, but I find myself worrying about it too much. Oh. Matter of fact, they say, don't worry about it, and, yeah. I, and I say something. Like they don't want it. They don't want to hear that, and they don't. No, they're not, no, no. But I'm thinking it, and sometimes I'm stupid. I'm a, I'm a nerd, flat out. Yeah. Whatever the case, I'm a nerd yeah. in the truest sense of it. Like, um, say the wrong thing on dating, it's me. I'll say the wrong thing by accident. Not yeah. trying it. Yeah. But um, I'm a nerd, so. But, but that's that's half the problem is, no, you never really want to address the age thing, even if it's known, even if it's not obvious. You never really want to bring it up because no one's ever comfortable. Like neither side's ever super comfortable with it. It's just like that unspoken elephant that's always there. You just kind of learn to live with. It. I agree with you. Yeah. The the um the thing is, I always strive to be older. Remember earlier, I was joking. I said I said twenty years older. Yeah, you, you said me I was twenty. Right. I'm twenty four. Right. Immediately you yeah. said that. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. I think someone just stole my motorcycle. Yeah, you get, either you got some competition or you need to be worried. I haven't seen the bike in a while. It's in a garage. It is? Yeah. You rode it the other day, right? I did. Bad. bad cold. Idea. Cold. Okay. Didn't I tell you the story when I when I went into Acme to try to, to get some hot water <laughs> yeah. to defrost my hands? The guy wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> so I bought a $19 Starbucks or Starburst. Starbucks cup? Yeah. Wait, 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 start, from, start from the beginning. You rode, where were you riding? You're riding back from a, a job, right? Where were you riding where you got so cold? Where were you riding from? I, I, it was, it was, I only went from here to Acme on 2nd Street. <laughs> That's second. all it took? That's all it took. It was so cold out. Oh, you had no gloves. That's what it was. No, I did you have had, gloves. I had, um, no, I didn't have gloves. No, you didn't have your gloves and your hands were freezing and you needed hot water so you could feel your hands. So I went into Acme. And the guy, at the, oh, and I wanted a six pack. I went to get a six pack. Yeah, yeah. So I went in, and you have to pay for six packs at a certain register. Uh -huh. You can't pay for it at the other register. So I went up, and I said, "Listen, can I get a, a cup of hot water real quick?" Yeah. I said, "I said, uh, uh, my hands are frozen." Yeah. And the guy just stood there, and he just didn't know what to do. He didn't know even how to comprehend what I'm asking him. And I said to him again, "My hands are freezing. I just want to dip my hands in the hot water. <laughs> They're so cold." Still, he stood there. Because I think he didn't know what to do. Yeah, what are you doing? So I looked around and there's a whole display model of the Starbucks because it was right behind him, the, the grocery store Starbucks. Yep. And, I, and I grabbed it and I said, here, can, here, I'm buying this. Can you please put out water in it? He was still a little stuck on that part. Yeah, yeah. But I bought it. I swear it was $19 a cup. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And, I, and, he, and he took him a good couple minutes to put hot water in it. And it had a big plastic straw coming out. I know what you're straw. talking about. They're like this big. So what did you do? Did you put your fingers, like dip the tip? Yeah, I took the lid open right there in the counter and put my, both my hands in it. <laughs> you probably looked nuts. I probably, yeah, but he you, still didn't understand what was going on. No way. I mean, but um, it was funny. I'm not talking about it. Um, I, 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 think, I think of situations like that when you're, you're out of your, that's not necessarily normal for you, granted that much is, and but for you to go to this guy, he's probably on the other side of that situation like, what the hell, this guy runs in here talking about I need hot water. He blood. obviously never had frozen hands, <laughs> ever, because he couldn't, I mean, it wasn't, he couldn't comprehend that it was, that I wanted to de-thaw my hands. I, I would, I would struggle. You would get that, no, right? No, I would struggle. A would bit. you? I would be just so shocked at the request. I think it would take me some time to process, like, is this guy really asking me for hot water? Why is it that I think that's normal, just to ask? Because you're not. I know, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. Because your realm of normalcy is not. But if you came to me and you're like, Troy, I lost my fucking gloves and my hands are freezing, I would be like, come here. <laughs> and I'd take you to the kitchen sink and run warm water on your Yeah, hands. yeah. But you're not, not everyone. But going into Acme asking to dip them in a cup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, that's what I wish. There was just like a little film crew that followed you Oh around. my god. Just to capture moments Jeez, like silly. that. Because 
those, those need they to do happen. Need, people need to see that stuff. I know that is funny stuff. <laughs> but you, what you, you can't should, catch it though. You, you gotta rewrite it. You need to write that stuff down so ah. you can make a skit. What? That's what that is. That's what this chaos is right that's, here. Yes, yes, that's what that is. That's what. Check, I can't even get this. Check out the here. yellow one. Pull the yellow one out. Yeah. Pull that one out. This. I'm gonna that's the latest. That's the latest. This is. That's for the movies. This, House of Horrors. That's for the screens. Yeah. Jeez. Yes. Can you read my writing or not? Yeah. Okay. I thought you could. Yeah. Yeah, you're cool writer. It's okay. Uh, I don't think it's cool. I think it's maybe like a surgeon's writer. Surgeon. I don't give you that much credit. No. <laughs> surgeon probably spells right. They might. They might. What is this? Uh, Can you make one thing out of that on there? This is a. Uh, so this is a full-on funny film. No. Wait, this is a full-on mm, something scary. Yeah. Here, give that to me. That's Something. There's a sentence in the middle. It says this is a full-on. You don't need any glasses. You won't be able to read it either. No, I can read it without any glasses. I think I'm just losing both near and far. <laughs> These are my notes, that's why. <laughs> I mean, notes to myself. Oh, yeah, it says, please be, you saw this, please be advised during, this was, an, this was a letter that I put out for, to, to, when we were doing some casting. Mm -hmm. And I needed it to say. How did you cast? Please, I didn't cast this part yet. Oh, but no. how will you? Will you put flyers out? No, I'll probably do it on, um, on the, the um, Oh, like the there's websites. a there's a there's a network. Okay, you're not around. just gonna find neighborhood people, neighborhood personalities. Mm -hmm. do I don't mind doing it a little bit, but it's a little tough. I, if somebody has acting um, experience, it works better. Yeah. We need to get you a chair. That's not. A I'm good too chair. big. I'm too big for these chairs. Yeah, they're small chairs to start. Yeah. I know. I'll bring one of mine. Okay. I have one. I never use it. It's like it's like yours. It is. Yeah. Well, this is this one's shot here. Yeah, mine's a little bit prettier. If, you, if this chair could talk, <laughs> it would have some wild could, things to say. Yeah, it would have some shit. To it's say not to that you. old. This chair is only like two, two years old. Well, you really just tore it up. Let it have it. Well, I'm not the one burning the whole. The, Whole cigarette burns. All right, don't get you started here. Before the brief you do it, Hillary, just be advised during during um, scenes there will be brief nudity, and <laughs> and props are of a torturous style prop. Okay. No um, no touching set props. This will already be marked for position. Anyway, there were notes that I was giving people, and and this isn't the whole thing, but. It was, a, it was about, there's nudity in the Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Who's going to be naked? Um, no one's really, well, um, so there's a scene where the women are torturing the men. Oh, yeah. So the men are sort of naked. We don't want that. No, I know. But hold on a minute. This, is, this comes from an artistic yeah. point of view. Okay. Whoever I want to be naked. Okay. So I mean, you can be within, into whatever you want to be into. I'm, just I'm not into it. I don't even like horror movies. <laughs> I know. I is. won't watch it. You know why I did this horror movie? Why? Because I challenged myself to do something um, creative that I never, never could. I have friends who make horror movies all the time, but I don't like them. I go to their premieres. That's it. But. I don't like them, but I challenge myself um, to do it for Halloween. Yeah. Um, and a couple of little things. My wife was born on Halloween. That's her oh. birthday. Wow. So, so Halloween was always a big thing in our family. Yeah. And um, the other part of it was, uh, I don't, I don't like gore. I don't like killing. Yeah. I don't like murdering. I don't like any of that. So I decided to um, try it. Yeah. I'm excited to see what I bought, looks um, like. I bought four hundred dollars worth of um, blood, fake blood. That is ridiculous. It's expensive. I didn't know it. I don't even know how you buy that. Where do you go to buy? You buy it at a theater company. Really? Yeah. They have fake blood. Yep. Yeah. There's actually, believe it or not, there's a there's a place down on um, um oh my god, doing the doorknob out back here. I, I, I know. I was in there looking. Did at you it. see the blood on the door? No. Yeah, it's fake blood. 
uh, DeFeast was there and I found it in my bag yeah. and I took when he was watching yeah. or we wasn't watching I sprayed it all over my hand yeah. and um, and I put my hand back and I was like hold that light here a minute yeah. and I went oh like I cut myself yeah. and, and he goes oh my god Troy oh my god the neighbor ladies were watching us really? and they're like oh my god should I call someone? <laughs> I said, and I go, oh, I didn't know they were watching. Yeah. And I said, oh my God, no, I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God. And DeFeast is like, oh my God, that looked real. It was funny. That's pretty funny. I thought it was you're funny. Not, that's good for film. That's good stuff. You're yeah. helping your cause, though, for people think you're any less crazy than you are. What, the neighbors? Yeah. They all like me pretty much, though. They all, yeah, they like you. Everyone in the neighborhood likes you, I Oh, no, no, there's a couple of haters. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Always. I mean, anywhere you go. I guess so. Also, we're almost at 30 minutes. Are we? Yeah, 28. Hmm. So these cameras are going to shut down. Uh, they're already shut down. Are they shut down? That one shut down. They all shut down. Which one was first? This one up here. That one's for sure down. The main, main one might be going and mine might be going. So Minota doesn't? Canon? Or Nikon? 